Are you a business owner? Whether you are working in an office or remote like us here at Local SEO Search, problems will arise. We have always been remote, but that does not mean there are no problems. Today, I'm gonna share with you some common problems in the workplace, both remote and in the office, and how to solve them. It's great to see you again. Or if you're new, hi. My name is John and I'm here to share some of the things that I've learned in my years of experience in business. Today, we're gonna talk about workplace problems. The environment where you work plays a big role in your overall performance and well-being. Some say that their office is stress-inducing and I don't think they mean only the physical stuff there. But let's talk about that first. First problem. Space issues. Renting a space for your business can cost a lot, especially if it's in the city or in a new building. Businesses tend to go with a much cheaper route, which is renting a place that's convenient for everyone, but with very little space, especially if you're still starting out. A big space means more money needed for rent, and it's something not everyone can afford. Working in a very tight space is okay if there's only a few employees. As your business grows, so does your need for more space. If you're bumping into each other already, and if the noise is making you lose focus, then it might be time for you to move to a much larger, bigger space. Make sure that you list down your needs before even starting and be open to do renovations. That way, it would really make your workplace a perfect fit for your business and your employees. And don't forget, if your business is simply an office, you can always go with a cheaper route, which is remote work. If clients don't visit you or you don't need a storefront, you may not need a physical space at all. Problem number two, wrong job placement. You'll never know if a person can be an asset to your company just by the interview. Their resume will tell you what they can do, but that isn't the whole job. I always emphasize hiring slow and firing fast because hiring people is expensive. Onboarding and training takes time and effort and it's frustrating when you spend all of that time just to realize that someone will not work out. A job is not just about skills and experience someone has on their resume. It's about how they are as a person as well how they interact with others, how they handle tasks, if they're fast but inefficient, or if they're slow but they give out solid outputs. Does their personality fit in with your company culture? You can teach someone a lot of tasks, but you can't teach personality and work ethic. That is pretty much set in stone. So take time to get to know someone. Have them complete personality tests or introductory tasks before you hire them to really gauge if they are the best fit for your company and the position at hand. Problem number three, demotivation. There are a lot of reasons why someone can lose their motivation at work. It could be that they want to get promoted but haven't had a chance, low salary, or not getting credit for working hard. Each of these can be a source of demotivation. Promotion is not just getting higher pay, power and more responsibility comes with it as well. Maybe they're waiting for you to give them more responsibilities. Getting a raise also makes them feel respected and appreciated. It also means that they can provide more for their family. Even the simplest great work or thank you can mean the world and it doesn't cost you anything but a few seconds. As a leader, you have to take note of these types of things. You have to be attentive and keep an eye out. Relate to your staff as people so you'll know how to keep your employees motivated. I also did an entire video on overcoming demotivation in the workplace. If you're concerned about this in your workplace, check it out. I'll link it in the eye and in the description. Problem four, communication problems. There are people who don't talk much, but share a lot through their actions. There are some who talk, talk, 
and talk, but don't really mean what they say. Communication is hard. If you're working with a lot of people, a lot of communication can get misunderstood, especially if it's passed from one person to another, like a game of telephone tag. To counter this, you have to make sure that your methods of communication are effective and clear. This could be for company emails, memos, and meetings. Find the perfect medium for these. Because local SEO search is remote, we have a lot on our list. We use Skype for regular conversations, Asana to organize all of our clients' tasks, and Zoom for meetings and webinars, and of course, Gmail for our regular emails. Improving your company communication is so important. These are the tools that worked for us, but you might find something different that works better for you. Talk to your staff. Ask them what is lacking when it comes to communication and what they suggest to fix it. Problem five, lack of training. Training is something that some companies tend to overlook. So if they are providing it, it's not as comprehensive as it should be. This can backfire on you and your company and end up costing you more than the training itself would have. Time and resources are wasted with workers that don't even know the basics. And this isn't just about the job, but about your specific company. Every company is unique and different, and that is really what your employees need to know. What is your unique selling proposition? What sets you apart? Who is your target audience? Spend some time educating your new hires about your company culture your brand, and your business, and of course, train them on the job at hand. Make a workbook and training manual that you can update as time goes on. It can be time consuming in the beginning, but you will be grateful for it for other new hires to come. Problem six, too much work. I'm talking about overtime, having to work on your day off and asking them for something work-related after hours. It's understandable if there are important things that need to be done, but this shouldn't be a norm. Employees want work-life balance more than anything else. They want to be able to turn their brain off after hours and just spend time with their family and friends. Work shouldn't interfere with your employee's personal life and their personal life shouldn't interfere with your work. There should be a balance between the two. Respect your employees off hours. Also ensure that you are not overloading your employees. If you think that giving them more tasks will make them more productive, think again. Because if they have too much on their hands, they can get overwhelmed and won't know what to do first. Or they will rush through each project to get them all done. Check in with your employees and ask about their bandwidth and shuffle tasks around to make their workload more comfortable. And finally, problem number seven, outdated equipment. If you have lived long enough, you'll know that the working conditions now are better than before. I'm talking about the internet, computers, and phones. All the technology that existed years ago is nothing compared to what we have today. We use computers, but the internet was so slow and the features were limited. That shouldn't be the case now. Technology is very helpful to employees and businesses. It makes everything easier and faster. It comes with a cost, but these are investments that you can use for years. There's always new software or a new app out there. Some can even replace a whole employee. Stay up with the times. Don't get stuck in the past because you want to save. Computers don't last as long as they used to, so make sure you are replacing equipment before it's obsolete. Make it easier for your company and your employees to grow by giving them what they need right now. As a business owner, workplace problems will always pop up. But sometimes we get so stuck on the bigger problems that we ignore the smaller ones that are easy to fix. Make sure that your workplace runs smoothly by solving these problems today. Let me know if I missed any of the workplace problems that you've had to overcome and how did you fix them? Leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. 
Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's grow together.